Hello everyone! Welcome to our English learning journey with movies. Let's explore and improve our English together. Catch on. Oh my god! I know, I know, I'm such an idiot. <sighs> I guess I should have caught on when you started going to the dentist four and five times a week. I mean, how clean can teeth get? Catch on, meaning to understand or figure something out. Example, he doesn't take hints very easily, but he'll catch on eventually. Three, two, one. You catch on real quick. I told you, I catch on quick. You catch on quick. You really love her, don't you? You're just beginning to catch on to that? Suddenly, our crazy flavor is caught on, and the whole thing just took off. Something, something he can't catch on to. I'm catching on, I'm catching on. Oh my god! I know, I know, I'm such an idiot. <sighs> I guess I should have caught on when you started going to the dentist four and five times a week. I mean, how clean can teeth get? Get through and go for... My brother's going through that right now. He's, he's such a mess. How did you get through it? Well, you might try accidentally breaking something valuable of hers. Say her... Leg? Oh, <laughs> that's one way of going through it, yeah. Me, I, I went for the watch. You actually broke her watch? Mm. Get through, meaning to survive something. Example, it is hard to see how people will get through the winter. Three, two, one. You want to get through this? Hey, you're going to get through this together. We'll get through this together. Abby and I, we'll get through this together. We're gonna get through this legal bullshit and garbage they're throwing at us. Get some food in your system and we'll get through this together. Go for, meaning to choose something. Example, people tried to persuade him to go for a more gradual reform program. Three, two, one. Go for gold! <laughs> go for it. Go for the lobster. George. Go for Darnell. I always go for reliability. When everything crashed and burned, I went for a walk. I'd like to go for a swim before we head back. I left Kit in the parlor and went for a stroll outside the house. <laughs> My brother's going through that right now. He's, he's such a mess. How did you get through it? Well, you might try accidentally breaking something valuable of hers. Say her... Leg? Oh, <laughs> that's one way of going through it. Yeah. Me, I, I went for the watch. You actually broke her watch? Mm. Cut off. But it isn't. It isn't. It's about me. And I just... <sighs> Hi, machine. Cut me off again. Anyway. Cut off. Meaning, if you get cut off when you are on the phone, the line is suddenly disconnected and you can no longer speak to the other person. Example. I'm going to cut you off now because we've got lots of callers waiting. I promise I won't cut you off, Kent. Well, he cut me off. <laughs> he didn't cut you off. Come on, Iz. Don't cut me off like this. Hey, you can't just cut me off like that. Stop all the clocks. Cut off the telephone. Prevent the dog from barking with a juicy bone. All right, cut him off. Leave him on. <laughs> but it isn't. It isn't. It's about me. And I just... machine cut me off again anyway <laughs> walk out on and spell something out well, ever since she walked out on me I... what 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 you, you want to spell it out with noodles <laughs> no it's 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 more of a fifth date kind of revelation oh so there's gonna be a fifth date isn't there yeah yeah i i think there is Walk out on, meaning to abandon or leave someone. Example, the husband walked out on his wife and kids after 20 years of marriage. Three, two, one. Well, that was before you walked out on me. It's my responsibility. I can't just walk out on them. Though maybe you could tell that from the first moment I walked out on stage. Like marrying men that walk out on them. What are you talking about? Walk out on you? Walk out on them. We can stop right now and you can walk out on us forever. So then if you spot me coming around that corner, you're just going to walk out on this woman? Spell something out, meaning to explain something in a very clear way with details. Example, 
What do you mean you don't understand? Do I have to spell it out for you? Three, two, one. I spell everything out. You want me to spell it out for you? Let me spell it out for you. You want me to spell it out for you? I don't want to spell it out. I think it's right for you to spell it out. Oh, so let me spell it out for you. Spell it out for me this time. Yeah, ever since she walked out on me, I... What? What, what? You, you want to spell it out with noodles? No, it's, 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 it's more of a fifth date kind of revelation. Oh, so there's going to be a fifth date? Isn't there? Yeah, yeah, I, I think there is. Ever since... Well, er, er, ever since she left me, um, well, I, hadn't, I haven't been able to uh, perform sexually. <laughs> ever since, meaning continuously since the time mentioned. Example, we met at a party in 2005 and we've been together ever since. Three, two, one. Yeah, we've been close ever since. Uh, ever since I graduated high school. Especially because ever since I blacked out in the cafeteria, it's been getting worse. Ever since I was five years old, the school used to take us every year to Jerusalem and Bethlehem. She said something about Marilla having been betrothed once many years ago, but because of a quarrel, she never married. And she's had to live with her brother ever since. Ever since then, internal affairs have been waiting to catch them in the act. He said some things, Bridie. She's been following me around ever since I got here. Well, er, er, ever since she left me, um, well, I, hadn't, I haven't been able to uh, perform sexually. <laughs> get it together. You know, here's the thing. Even if I could get it together enough to, you know, to, to ask a woman out, who am I going to ask? Get it together, meaning to make a decision or take positive action in your life. Example, Blake has really got it together since I last saw him. He has started a new job and lost a lot of weight. Three, two, one. Get it together, Kelly. <clears throat> oh, get it together, Africa. Get it together, bro. So get it together. What I need is for you to focus, get it together, and point me to the nearest liquor store. Okay. In the streets. And if you're gonna sit back and watch it happen, sister, you better get it together and wake up. You listen, you get it together, and you do something for your own people. You know, here's the thing. Even if I could get it together enough to, you know, to, to ask a woman out, who am I gonna ask? On a roll. Isn't this amazing? I mean, I have never made coffee before in my entire life. That is amazing. Congratulations. <laughs> Why you're on a roll if you feel like you gotta make like a Western omelet or something? <laughs> Although, actually, I'm really not that hungry this morning. On a roll, meaning be experiencing a period of success at what you are doing. Example, they've won nine games in a row, so they're obviously on a roll. I'm on a roll here. Sorry, boy. I'm on a roll. <laughs> you want to just uh, uh, wait your turn. I'm on a roll here. Ooh, take that, you. He's on a roll. Really? Really? You got a plan? Don't make me wait. You're on a roll. Uh, now that we got this, though, Ronnie boy, I'm telling you, we're on a roll, baby. I got to give you credit for being more proactive and starting to meet women. Who knows? Maybe you are on a roll here or something. But. <laughs> I mean, I have never made coffee before in my entire life. That is amazing. Congratulations. <laughs> Why you're on a roll if you feel like you gotta make like a Western omelet or something? <laughs> Although, actually, I'm really not that hungry this morning. Take credit. You know, Paul? Paul the wine guy? <laughs> oh, yeah, I know Paul. You mean you know Paul like I know Paul? Are you kidding? I take credit for Paul. You know, before me, there was no snap in his turtle for two years. 
Take credit, meaning to claim responsibility for something that you did not do or that you did not do alone. Example, the boss took credit for all of the team's hard work. Three, two, one. I always take credit for it. Fred, I can't believe you took credit for my plan again. Well, I'd love to take credit for that, but Erica is adopted. As much as I'd like to take credit for this, I can't. You're shocked because I took credit for your idea. You can't expect just to steal my research and have me sit back and watch you take credit for it. I wish I could take credit for it, but that was all Sarah. You know, Paul? Paul the wine guy? <laughs> oh, yeah, I know Paul. You mean you know Paul like I know Paul? Are you kidding? I take credit for Paul. You know, before me, there was no snap in his turtle for two years. Live off. They're my new, I don't need a job, I don't need my parents, I've got great boots boots. <laughs> How'd you pay for them? A uh, credit card. Mm -hmm. and, and who pays for that? Um, my father. <laughs> Come on, you can't live off your parents your whole life. I know that. That's why I was getting married. <laughs> Live off, meaning to use someone or something to provide the money or food that you need to live. Example, all his life he had lived off his father. Three, two, one. We'll live off the land. <laughs> he lives off my money. No, no. When you live off the land and you're honest, things fall into place. They chopped down trees and wove their own cloth and lived off of berries and squirrel meat. Your father's been living off the charity of our family for quite some time. Welcome to Puffs, live off Broadway, and welcome to a certain school of magic and magic. We work the land, we live off of it, but we forget what it means. They're my new, I don't need a job, I don't need my parents, I've got great boots boots. <laughs> How'd you pay for them? A uh, credit card. Mm -hmm. And who pays for that? Um, my father. <laughs> Come on, you can't live off your parents your whole life. I know that. That's why I was getting married. Be on your own. Come on, you can't live off your parents your whole life. I know that. That's why I was getting married. <laughs> Give her a break. It's hard being on your own for the first time. Thank you. You're welcome. Be on your own, meaning to be independent and self-reliant. Example, after graduating from college, I moved to a new city to start my dream job. I was excited to be on my own and start this new chapter in my life. Three, two, one. You must learn to be on your own. Aren't you tired of being on your own? If you're worried about being on your own, don't be. After that, you're gonna be on your own, got it? It's hard being on your own. Soon you'll be on your own not needing anyone's help. I always thought if I saw you again, it would be in this park. And you would be on your own. Come on, you can't live off your parents your whole life. I know that. That's why I was getting married. <laughs> Give her a break. It's hard being on your own for the first time. Thank you. You're welcome. End up. I remember when I first came to this city, I was 14. My mom had just killed herself and my stepdad was back in prison. And I got here and I didn't know anybody. And I ended up living with this albino guy who was like cleaning windshields outside Port Authority. And then he killed himself. <laughs> and then I found aromatherapy. So believe me, I know exactly how you feel. <laughs> End up, meaning to reach some conclusion, state, or situation due to a particular course of action. Example, the deals were popular at the time, but many ended up losing money. Three, two, one. You end up here? You end up here. I don't want to end up packed to pieces in a dumpster somewhere. To be honest, the, the words uh, documentary and profit don't usually end up in the same sentence. If we end up in the Florida Supreme Court, we're dead. And so... When the clinic lost its funding, I ended up on the street. If we continue like this, the three of us are going to end up on the nightly news. But what do you do if both of you are lost and you both end up in the same place, waiting? 
I remember when I first came to this city. I was 14. My mom had just killed herself, and my stepdad was back in prison. And I got here, and I didn't know anybody. And I ended up living with this albino guy who was, like, cleaning windshields outside Port Authority. And then he killed himself. <laughs> and then I found aromatherapy. So believe me, I know exactly how you feel. <laughs> Thank you for watching this video.